Hello and welcome to MJ TV. I'm your host Matthew James, a renowned uh, international medium and clairvoyant. In this broadcast, this is another of the mentoring series. I basically want to talk about some of the tarot personalities, some of the personalities that uh, you will you will meet along the way when you actually work with tarot cards. So in this in this quick broadcast, I want to introduce the Temperance card. I want to introduce and talk about the Hermit card and also the Priestess card, the High Priestess card. The particular deck that I'm using is the Merlin Tarot. It's a personal favourite pack of mine. I've had them over 25 and I years. I just randomly picked three of the major Arcana um, cards, these three cards, and I just want to basically talk about them. Now, I always say when I get the Priestess, the High Priestess card, in any reading, that card comes in for you to pay attention to the information that is in the deck that is around the High Priestess. This is a card that is basically saying that your client needs to take note of the information that has been provided to them. It's ridiculously important. The High Priestess, the Priestess card for me is all about divine intervention. It's always about those moments when the universe is actually about to play its hand and is actually fate is going to play its hand and sort of seal some sort of deal in somebody's life. It is a very, very, very important card. It's a card that's energy cannot be is always underestimated. The, the Priestess, the High Priestess card is a ridiculously strong card. In the Kabbalah it relates to um, Binar which is the supernal uh, feminine, it's the ultimate feminine, it's the, it's the real powerful feminine principle that's in our lives. So there's a lot of sensitivity and there's a lot of power with the Priestess, the High Priestess card. With the Temperance card the Temperance card always means for me some form of healing or some sort of cleansing. It always relates to, to situations where there has been health concerns or there has been some sort of emotional concern or upheaval in someone's life. And when the Temperance card appears, this is Angel Raphael in um, Archangel Raphael in this deck, but it always relates to some sort of healing and some sort of, of some sort of balance and some sort of clearing. It is again a very 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 important card. It can be used where there are health concerns. Someone has a health concern, and when this card actually appears, I basically will always talk about that 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 healing that there's an energy there that is actually going to make that person. It's going to put them back on the right track. I will not say, hey, look, they're going to comp be completely healed because I don't have the right, because I am not a medical practitioner, to say that that's actually the case. I can actually say with this card that there is a vast improvement with people, a vast improvement in the situation. Now, my opinion on the hermit, um, I go against potentially the, the classic meanings of the hermit. The hermit for me is always a seeker of knowledge. It is always the learned one. It is always the person that is willing to make the sacrifice in their life to, to better themselves. It's a period of study. It's a period of further learning. It's a period of bringing in this introspection and, and self yet self knowledge into your life so when you get the hermit card and somebody gets the hermit card in the tarot in their spread as a client I will always say regardless of what I'm talking about I will always say there is a need for further education or there is a path here that is ahead of you that basically um, you've got some self discovery you've got some further education ahead um, so yeah, that's that's the basis the basis of this little mentoring session at the minute. The is it, just really introducing these characters, and also I want to actually um, comment on the fact that I I treat my tarot cards as personalities. I treat them as individuals. I treat them as personal friends, and getting to know these cards, get to know the cards as if they are personal friends. Um, they will give you a meaning, they will give you an intuitive meaning, whatever the card is. They're all they're all the same for me, they're all basically personalities. They're all personalities that uh, you need to get to know, you need to find out what it exactly it is that specific card is, is saying to you, and it's all part and parcel of the, the tarot learning process. Now, as far as the book goes, as far as going from book cover to book cover with the meanings that the, the person who's invented the cards are, right, 
I would say just throw the book away, have a look at it, get the basic idea and the basic gist, but the real practical information here, the most important thing here is is, is to set your own meanings for these cards. Um, it's just basically that's that's the basic in in-depth insight to the tarot cards, you knowing these cards as personal friends. So when these cards actually turn up, it's like there's a personal friend who's actually guiding you and telling you, well, this is what you need to talk about in a person's life. Um, and that really, really is critical, and that's really the secret to, to a successful tarot reading, because uh, intuitively you've set these meanings on these cards that are a universal symbol, and when the card actually appears in, in a client spread, you just know then without a shadow of a doubt that this is actually relevant to them at this time and you need to talk about it. Okay, I'm going to leave this little particular mentoring session there and I'm going to say thank you very much for listening. This is MJTV and I was your host Matthew James. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.